Yo gang, what's happening? It's your boy BZ back with another brand new video. And today we're going to be taking on Pocket Option head on with our 10K on our account. After a huge loss, we bounced back a little bit better from the last video. Today, I'm going to keep that momentum and, and, you know, try to get, stay on the positive side for the long, you know, kind of have a streak. So before we jump right into it, you know, I got to plug myself. So don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification button so you know when a new banger drops and you can join me as we get into the video so don't forget to join the telegram channel links will be in the description and if you're new to pocket option you can use the link in the description to join create an account and try some of the strategies so without further ado let's get right into the video so gang let's dive right into the charts so as you can see i am on british pound just japanese yen i'm gonna add my indicators which is not the most important thing i just want to get it out of the way i'm gonna add 200 ema as i always do save that so first we're looking at conditions of the market right now it seems like we are in an upward trend now what we're looking for is to draw support but first, what I'm looking at, as you can see, is a lot of different movement, especially right here in the market. So when we look at where that price start today, let's see. So it looks like it's on an upper trend, just been going up, crosses above, like yeah, the price here all day has been going up. So right now when we check our five minute time frame, we're looking for is our upper trend as well here, very strong candles. Right now we're looking for what is the highest point that the market has been recently. We want to say that that's 201.023, right here, 201023, 201.023. Yeah, I can't seem to find it here. Uh, that's not the highest point, 201.315, right there. Market right now is above this point as well. So we're looking for the lat, no, I mean, it hasn't been. Okay, one, say two, nine, three, seven. Let me just put a line here. Let's see, we can go back. So right here, we've got 2622. Two, two. And we've got another one. So I'm gonna definitely go into an uptrend right here. I'm gonna enter 500 bucks. As you can see, I ended the last stream with 5,000. But as you can see, I went like on a streak on that same day after the, sh after the video. Went into my Telegram channel, gave some very good signals. I can't see the rest of them. But you can see I do a couple of $500 trades here and there. Was able to take some money. So we're still on British pounds. And we can see here another good opportunity to try to enter into a call. Um, so let's first change our time frames and see. It's looking good. Definitely don't want to miss that opportunity to enter into a call here. I might double up on it if I have a chance. So a thousand. We are in. The money on our first trade not as good as you want to but it's starting to look a lot better go to open right here so we've got a thousand right now here market is still pulling down but just because i see the way the market has been pushed i'm pretty sure in this both situation we should be able to take uh, money now i'm expecting this candle to be to be green but I'm not expecting it to be pushed super hard oh but right now we see a huge drop in the market whoa that is definitely a problem and right here we just right at our entry point market isn't moving either way and now we see a clear downward trend to see how that price is being pushed i mean there is no way that this price shouldn't go up I'm a believer. We're not gonna, right here, got the price pulled down for absolutely no reason. 
I um, believe that this price should definitely not be going down here. So we lost $500. We we'll just look, um, mm, no Claire, not, not in this Claire here. Nothing feels Claire. So we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna, we're just gonna time this out. So we lost that $500 right here or in Japanese, um, on British pounds, in Japanese pen, Japanese pen, Japanese yen. Uh, whoa, 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 we're just in the money with 13 seconds left. And the prize pulls completely in the other direction. With five seconds left on our trade, we take, okay, so we, we get, we get, Oh, we get our money back on our trade, fully even, didn't have any losses. So we only lost 500 bucks. We made 430, so pretty much we lost 70 bucks. Okay, so now I'm a little worried about this pairs. You can see how this price is just moving between this candle. Look at how long that tail is. Despite the fact we see that, that candle ends up green, and we might still be thinking into to, we might still be thinking about entry into a call here, but I don't see that price being pushed at all. But there's no reason for me to expect a change in the market here, like at all. It's not like the market is. Oh, we still see it, right? All right, we're gonna go back to same thing. It seems like the market is about to drop very very strong looking candles there is nothing apart from thinking that the market is changing from somewhere around here but we don't see it hit those levels at all yeah do we see it hit any of those levels but just based off the volume of the candles we might check our m5 nothing is showing us on m5 this should really change that let's go m10 Okay, I've come to our M10, we're in a downtrend for the next 10 minutes. So this might be a good time to enter into a nice little put right there for a thousand. And maybe if we hit this trade, we could pull even and go into a little bit of a profit. So you can see we've got a couple of um, minutes less, about a minute 37. Let me show you right here on my open. A minute 30. Uh, so as that's going on, the thing we want to focus on is where this candle might end up going to. So one of the first things that I'm thinking about is this definitely looks like an upward trend from the beginning but right now we're starting to see that despite the fact that we see so let me push this down a little bit um despite the fact that we see this nice little string but we don't see it take any control of the market at any point despite the fact that the market has been going down so this might be a situation where we just had the market go up and then it's just gonna flip all the way down let's look at how strong that candle is we're not seeing a longer wick below it we can see below this where the price try to push up but right here you can see that it feels like they truly truly have control over that market uh just to try i will go into a uh, put here just because i see how that price is being pushed i think it's a good opportunity let's go back to our initial trade as you can see that trade is looking great and uh sorry open open we've got gonna make about 830 so we are finally back in the green yeah and that feels good um so we're back to british pounds just come on come on what the hell okay i think it seems good we're back to british pounds chf with swiss francs and as you see, the market is looking good here as well with one minute left. This was the one we didn't lose any money out. We got payout here. We got zero payout here. We got a 430 profit and here we got 830 profit. 
Now for this trade, I think the same thing is gonna happen. I think if you wait a little bit more in this market, either you see, I mean, it's very, it's going to be very difficult for you to see an upward trend here after such a candle. So if I'm even on my good day, I might enter into another put right there. I'm gonna enter into another put right here and see how that just because just going off the strength of the first two candles it just makes sense that that price is gonna take 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 a bit of a beat in, and you just see it's gonna pull pull all the way downwards so we're able to take profit on that hundred dollars um for a nice little 86 dollar profit and entry into a thousand here while watching that price battle for who's gonna take supremacy over there so we're able to take that $86 profit and with a, a minute, 18 seconds left, we'll put a grand on the line, hoping at that price. So pretty much we started a little bit uh, crazy with a $100 loss, I mean $500 loss, but we're able to pull back, you know, and make a couple of uh, good trades uh, here and there. So uh, it's about 47 seconds before this trade is going to finish. Um, it's not looking great, but what I'm going to say is thank you guys for joining me for another BZ trade video. I hope you guys are able to enjoy and see how we do things around here. So thank you guys for joining me for another video. It's been your boy busy and I'm out.